the Egyptian people have moved mountains to get rid of this dictatorship. And soon, later this year, they will have a democratically elected government. Now, let's not disrespect those who gave their life's blood and their blood and their efforts to bring about the downfall of these tyrannies. And one by one, all of them will fall. Let's go to Brighton, talk to Will on Afghanistan. Will, welcome to the show, my friend. Hello there. Hello, George. It's, uh, it's actually William Hague here, the, the Foreign Secretary. I, just I thought it was, you. William. I haven't seen you for a long time. We used to go up How in the lift doing? together How all the time. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm I, wanted well. to, I wanted to say tonight, I want to talk about Afghanistan because you're, you're often, you know, so, so, so against Afghanistan. And I don't know why we're, we're fighting for, for your freedom out there, George. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. That's William Haig, who's obviously having a, well, what shall I say, an away day in Brighton, maybe in one of those nice hotels on the seafront uh, down there on the Corniche of the uh, English Riviera. William, thanks for phoning the show. And of course, you're not fighting for my freedom in Afghanistan or anyone else's freedom. In fact, you're fighting the Afghans in Afghanistan. There's now no Al-Qaeda. There's no foreign forces in Afghanistan except yours. And you're fighting the Afghans in their own country. Yeah, and guess what, Will? Guess what? what? The Afghans are winning. Here's Lyndon. No, no, no. We, will, we will beat them, George. You don't, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about that one. Unfortunately, Will, out in Australia and Japan and all the other places in the world where this is being watched, don't actually know who William Hague is, never mind what he sounds like. But I thought you were great. Thanks very much.